Tonight, their Detroit school is on the chopping block, and that's why several teen mothers held a sit-in inside the building, refusing to leave until they were moved by police. Action News reporter Glenda Lewis was first on the scene, and she joins us now with how this all unfolded. Glenda? And Carolyn, Catherine Ferguson Academy is on the list of Detroit schools to be closed. It has a 90% graduation rate for the teenage mothers who go there with their children. There's daycare there to give them a second chance at life and at education. But they took matters in their own hands tonight and ended up here at the police station. Chanting and police sirens blended together, and the group refused to move for cruisers. That was happening outside. Inside, more than a dozen students, two of their children and a teacher, refused to leave Catherine Ferguson Academy, the school they love so much. This is the only school like this in the country. It's a school that offers young women who've become pregnant in high school an opportunity to get a life, an education. They feel like that we have got to stand our ground and fight now. Detroit police pulled in with one mission, pull everyone out. One by one, the teen moms were brought out in handcuffs. Some kicking and shouting. Others flashing peace signs and smiles. After several warnings, they refused to comply. Once we were able to make entry into the room where they were, uh, we arrested several for trespassing. There's a lot of productive ways that the district is taking input from uh, from faculty, from parents, from school communities for the school closures and count, uh, and uh, and consolidations. And clearly, this is not one of the ways. The sit-in started after classes ended for the day, and students headed for spring break. The academy gives young mothers a second chance, and apparently, so did police. We were trying to prevent our school from getting closed. We were arrested, but they just wrote us a ticket. My daughter is three. So she was with you? Yes. Was she in the back of the police car with you? No, she was not. This is the only opportunity that girls have. Oh, well, I'm pregnant. It's a lot of other people in this situation I could be around. And a lot of chaos and a lot of confusion, but again, as you heard them say, they were brought here for trespassing that would have been a misdemeanor, but they were written tickets. Live here at the station on the west side, I'm Glenda Lewis. Back to you. So, Glenda, what ended up happening to the kids who were inside that building? And we saw the police haul them out in handcuffs. Where are they now? Yes, one young mother I spoke with, Tiffany, that you heard from there, her child was taken from the principal because apparently they're all like a family, taken from the principal, and once she was released, she was on her way to pick her child up, and the other released to a family member, so the children are safe and back with their mothers tonight.